Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Morning. Duncan, what are you doing here? I thought you had today off. Well, I did. But apparently, the managers forgot to put enough people on the shift this morning. So they called me at like seven and told me I had to come in because there was nobody that could serve alcohol and cigarettes to people. And you agreed to that? Well, I had to. I mean, who else would be able to serve our age-restricted products? Right. But Duncan, today's your day off. You are under no obligation to be here. And I mean, for what? So you can sell a couple of packets of fags and a bottle of cider that's been on the shelves longer than you've been here. And, and anyway, I'm here now. I can do those things. No, I'm telling you, management told me I had to come in. Duncan, you're not listening to me. You did not have to come in today. It's your day off. Don't bother. I've just had the exact same conversation with him. You ain't gonna change his mind. Look, I'm only telling you what I was told. And what I was told is that I had to come in today to sell alcohol and cigarettes. See what I mean? Right, I know, I know, I know but as, as me and James keep telling you, you didn't have to. I mean, if I asked you to go out and buy me a three-piece suit, would you? Would you give me the money to buy the suit? What? No, it's irrelevant. If, you asked, if I asked you to buy me a suit, would you? But... How do I know you'd use the suit? I forgot to say... Uh, yes, yes then! Really? Yes! But why can't you buy your own suit? You work more hours than me, so I don't understand why I have to buy it. And besides, I'm not a suit delivery man. <laughs> you mental dunk. You're lucky that men's suits don't come and take you away. Thank you for the compliment, James. Right, because you had a choice there, Duncan. Just like you chose not to pay for the suit, you could have chosen to say no to management. He does have a point. Most members of staff had a day off today and probably got the same call. But they probably did tell them to fuck off and went back to bed. Yeah, but I knew you'd all do that, so I knew none of you would come in. And since there would be so few people, I had to say yes and come in. Otherwise, today would be much worse. And besides, they still need someone to sell that alcohol. You're like a broken record. You keep going over and over again, but you still didn't have to say yeah. Duncan, what do you think would have happened if you'd said no? Well, they probably wouldn't be able to run the store prop. Right, right. But what I mean is, it's not like the shop is just going to suddenly combust and explode. Right, it's not like the, it's not like the entire shop is going to burst into flames just because you'd said no. Well, that could happen. <sighs> That's not the point! Duncan, it's not like management would be screaming, curse you, Duncan, curse you for not coming in on your day off. If only Duncan were here, he'd just stop this fire with his ability to sell age-restricted products. Oh, woe is us. Curse you, Duncan, you selfish bastard, for not coming in in your free time. Get it to work. <laughs> All right, calm down, Shakespeare. I don't get what you're trying to say, Daniel. I mean, if I had not turned up, who would there be here this morning? Duncan, who the fuck is buying alcohol at nine in the morning? <sighs> James, stop fueling him. I can feel my sanity slipping. Didn't think you had any left, to be honest. Look, all right, I don't know why we have to keep arguing about this. I've explained this plain and simple. There was almost nobody booked in today. So they still need someone to- Duncan, if management rang you up and asked you to jump in front of a bus, would you? Of course not! I'm not stupid! That'd kill me! I wish it'd kill me. I'm sorry. Uh, right, that's it! I just- fuck it! Where are you going? To bash my head in! Shop open soon. 
Where is everyone? Uh, morning. Uh, morning. Um, is there anybody else coming or is this just it? Uh, Duncan's gaslighting Dan. What? Right, let's go over this again. Today is your day off. Yes? Yeah. Right, and I am actually on a shift today. Yeah. So what does that mean? It means... What? Duncan, I'm losing brain cells by the second here. For the love of God, tell me what it means. If you are struggling to fathom the sheer message of this, might I suggest consulting the board? Aha! I get it. I get it now. You're trying to say I shouldn't have come in because it's my day off. But I still would have had to come in because there's barely anybody in today. What's going on in here? Me and Dan were just having an argument about the lack of staff today. Um. Yeah, no, thanks so much for coming in today. I know it's your day off and all, but it's very much appreciated. Right, come on, the shop opens soon. We don't have time to be wasting. Oh, and um, Duncan, pick up that board, please. What's the matter, Dan? Did you worry? Didn't want to come in today. Then why did you come in? <laughs>